Hi there, I am Erman from Analyzeify team. This is our Google Tag Manager data analytics video series for Shopify stores. In this second video, we will place the GTM container into your Shopify store, including the checkout and thank you pages. And then we will make a debug at the end of the video so that we are sure that Google Tag Manager container is correctly placed. This is an essential step, so follow along with me. Before we start, placing the GTM container that we will do in this video is relatively easy and doesn't do much by itself. Make sure to check and follow the rest of our course where we provide the real value. In the previous video, we just made a quick intro to Google Tag Manager, what it is and how it is used. Now, after setting up Google Tag Manager on our Shopify store in this video, we will move to the Google Tag Manager essentials, such as tags and triggers in the next video. And then we will create a checkout data layer for Google Tag Manager on our Shopify. In this video, we are going to get our GTM Google Tag Manager container ID and then paste it into our Shopify store. The first step will be pasting into Shopify store's team file and then to checkout process step. Let's get started. If you don't have an existing Google Tag Manager account, you can quickly create one. For the sake of this video series, I will create a new one. Container name won't be visible by anyone else. These will be just visible under your account settings. Click web and then create. Agree to terms and conditions that will lead you to the welcome page of Google Tag Manager. It will already welcome you with the container code. Now we have to copy this. Once you are sure that you have the container code, go to your Shopify store. On the left tab, click online store. It will directly lead you to the teams section. Choose your active team and then edit code. Just to make sure that nothing will get broken, let's duplicate the current team that you have so that if something goes wrong, you will be able to revert it again because we will do some small changes to the team files. Click actions and then edit code. This is the main code of your team. It is called Team Liquid. If you don't see it here, just search in the files and make sure that you are in the Team Liquid. If we add a code to this file, it will be triggered in every page of your store except for the checkout. Paste the GTM container code which you just copied from Google Tag Manager. You can paste it under the, this meta tag. Once you are sure that you paste it, just save it. In the next step, we will add the same code into your thank you page. In another saying, Shopify order processing page. Click settings, check out, and then here you will find a section called order processing. And that allows us to add additional scripts into our thank you page. Just paste the exact same code here and then save it. I would just like to give you a little more understanding about what we have done. The first code we added on your team liquid file is making the code available in your store in every page. However, Shopify does not allow you to edit this checkout steps page. So your GTM code will not be triggered in the checkout steps page unless you are using Shopify Plus. But this last code we added into additional scripts will allow our code to be triggered in the thank you page. Another saying, order completed page. That means you won't be able to maybe track the checkout steps, but you will be able to track the purchases. So now let's go and validate if our GTM tag is installed correctly into our store. Go back to your Google Tag Manager account and click preview. It will ask you to publish the preview if your container is empty because we just created this account. I'll say publish empty version because my only purpose is now to make this debug. The container published and I click preview. If you already had some tags in your GTM, you won't be seeing this. This tag assistant asks you for your store URL. I'll just paste it and click start. It's supposed to open your store and then it's supposed to write debugger connected. If you are seeing it, that means you have successfully installed GTM in your store. 
Let's visit another page just to make sure that the installation went well. I am now in another page and still I see the debugger connected. Let's also see how the debugger looks like. As you can see this was the first page and then the second page. At the moment we don't have any tags and triggers installed in our GTM container. It is totally empty. But if we had we would be seeing them now. Don't worry we are gonna cover those in the next steps. Now I will run a test order so that just to make sure that our GTM container is also triggered in the checkout page. I click checkout. And as you can see the beggar is not connected here because it's not working in the checkout pages. Don't worry about it. So I just added the test bank details here so that I can make a test purchase. Now it's processing the order. Once the order is completed, as you can see, debugger is connected again. That means our tag is working in the checkout page as well. So now, as we have the Google Tag Manager installed in our Shopify store pages, we can go ahead and play around with the Google Tag Manager and take advantage of it. See you in the next videos.